Hi everyone, this is Sahit Chandra from 14383 Formula R and I'm here to show you guys how to program your Mechadon drivetrain. And also, make sure to check out our team's website that we created for you if you are a rookie team this year. Um, and also, make sure to check out FTC Anti-Malware from This Is Where We Got The Last Video From. Anyway, let's get started. So, first, uh, this is my class that I have right now. Um, I named this class Nakenum Drive and it extends op mode. Don't forget your at telly up at the top. I initialized my motor names and I also initialized my hardware map in the init. Also make sure you have your loops in as well. And pause this video for right now, get all of these stuff in and then we can finally start writing your first Mechanome drivetrain teleop. Okay, hopefully you paused your video and you got that done. So now we'll start writing our method. So we're gonna call this method move drivetrain. And there are going to be three variables that we're gonna be using. Our first variable, which is a double, we'll call that vertical to move the robot forwards and backwards. Our second variable will be called horizontal to move the drivetrain left and right. And our last variable will be pivot to turn our, our robot, um, just to steer our robot. Um, next, we have to set these variables to a certain value. And this value will be our joysticks. So if you want to control your robot on the left joystick and you want to steer your robot or turn your robot using the right joystick, you're going to, well, let's plan on doing that actually. So let's set our vertical. Oh, that's not how you spell vertical. Sorry about that. <laughs> vertical equal to, oh shoot. Oh my gosh, I need to go back to elementary school. Okay, we're gonna set vertical to our gamepad one dot left stick y. And we are going to set our horizontal equal to our gamepad one left stick x this time. Now we got the movement of our drive train. So our robot can move forwards and backwards, left and right. So now we want to turn, so we'll set our pivot equal to uh, our gamepad one again. Oops, gamepad one dot right stick x. And yeah, that's it. So those are our three main variables. Now to use these variables, we're gonna have to set them to a power. So, or we're gonna have to give it uh, to one of our motor, to all of our motors. So we're gonna start off with our right front motor. So RF motor dot set power. And we're gonna start off with our pivot. And we're going to add that, we're gonna add our pivot to a negative vertical plus horizontal. Okay, quick thing. Um, make sure your vertical is negative. Well, actually, if your right motors are flipped on your drivetrain, then make sure your vertical is negative. If your left motors are flipped, um, I, think, I think your vertical should be positive, but depending on what motors are flipped, you're going to have to make your vertical negative. And you can do that just by keeping this as negative for now and test it. If you move your joystick forward and the robot moves backwards, then you're just gonna have to simply, you're gonna have to simply make that, you're just gonna delete the negative. But for now, let's keep this as negative. Um, yeah, and that is our RF motor. So we're gonna copy and paste that and this is going to be our RB motor. Um, we're going to 
this time subtract our horizontal and I'm going to copy and paste this again and this is going to be LF motor negative vertical and make that negative and then this last one and I'm going to keep that as positive and this is it actually it's a very simple program your move drive train um hopefully you guys can understand what these set powers are doing if you are having trouble make sure just make a comment um and i'll try my best to respond to you as soon as possible but i really want you guys to figure out what these are, mean on your own um but if you're still having trouble, I'll make another video on it or uh, I'll reply to your comment. But this is these set powers are mainly what to make your drivetrain move like how it did in the video that we watched in the beginning. Um, oh yeah, really quickly, we I'm going to quickly set our vertical, horizontal and our pivot equal to zero. Uh, this shouldn't really change anything, but it's just good. Also, very quickly, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I did not have a reverse statement. Um, so this is setting my right motors to reverse, so the robot will move forward. Um, you really need these two statements in your initialize. Please do not forget them. They're very important. Um, and that's it. Thank you, guys. Uh, if you're a rookie, I really highly recommend looking through this website that we created. Um, if you have any questions, you can reply in this Q&A. And that's about it for this video.